Hello friends, this is second part of Boot Grid Server Side Processing in CodeIgniter Framework, by using Ajax. In previous part, we have already discussed how to load, MYSQL table data under this Boot Grid plugin, with edit and delete button in this CodeIgniter Framework, using Ajax. But now here we will discuss, how to insert data using bootstrap model, with this jQuery boot grid plugin in CodeIgniter framework. For this we have go to boot grid view file, and here we have create add button by writing button tag with attribute type is equal to button, id is equal to add button, Data toggle is equal modal. Data target is equal to employee modal, and in button text we have write add text. Here data toggle attribute is used for direct action to modal, and data target attribute is used for activate employee modal. Here we have already mail make, employee modal using bootstrap modal, and under this modal we have already make blank form with attribute is equal to employee form. Under this form, first we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to name, under this field, user can enter name details. For enter address details, here we have write text area name and id is equal to address. For select employee gender, here we have create select field, with name, and id is equal to gender, with two option like male and female. Same way for enter designation details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to designation. For enter age details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and age is equal to age. So here form field is ready, now for submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to action, and value is equal to add. For define, data insert, or update operation, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name and id is equal to operation. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for insert data, here when form will be submitted then data will be inserted, so we have write dollar with document as selector with on method. And under this method we have write submit event, with form id employee form with function with event. So when form submit then this code will execute. Under this code first we have write event.prevent default method, this method will stop to submit form data. Below this we have define, name variable is equal to dollar with text box id name, with value method, here we have store name text box data under this name variable. After this, we have write, address variable is equal to dollar with text area field id address with value method here we have store address text area data under this gender variable now we have define gender variable is equal to dollar with select box id gender with value method here we have store gender select box data under this gender variable. Same way, we have write, designation variable is equal to dollar with text box id designation, 
with value method, here we have store designation text box data under this designation variable. Lastly, we have define, age variable is equal to dollar with text box id age, with value method, here we have store age text box data under this age variable. After this, we have defined form data variable is equal to dollar the serialize method. This method will create a URL encoded text string by serializing form values. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write name variable value is not equal to blank and address variable value is not equal to blank and gender variable value is not equal to blank and designation variable value is not equal to blank and age variable value is not equal to blank If this condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write alert statement with message like all fields are required. Suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, under this block we have write ajax request. Under this first, we have write URL option set to base URL slash boot grid controller slash action method. Here we have send request to action method of boot grid controller. In second option, we have write URL option and here we have write post. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write form data variable. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write alert statement with data variable, it will pop up message on web page. Below this we have write, dollar with form ID employee form with zero index dot reset method, this method will clear all form field value. After this we have write, dollar with modal ID employee modal with modal method, under this method we have write hide, this method will hide modal from web page. Lastly we want to display inserted data on web page, so here we have write dollar with table ID, employee data with boot grid method, under this method we have write reload, this method will refresh boot grid data on web page. Now we have go to boot grid controller, and here we have make one action function, this function will receive Ajax request for insert or update data. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with input object with post method, under this method we have write operation, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key name, with value get from name variable. Second key address, with value get from address variable, third key gender, with value get from gender variable, fourth key designation, with value get from designation variable, and last age key, with value get from age variable.
So here we have store form data, under this dollar data variable in array format. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write operation variable value is equal to add, if this condition true, that means we have to do insert operation under this block. Under this block we have write dollar this with, boot grid modal object with insert method, with dollar data argument, this method will insert data into employee table. Below this we have write echo statement, with message like data insert, this message will be seen to user on front side. Now we have go to, boot grid model, and here we have create insert function, with dollar data variable as argument. Under this, we have write dollar this, with database object with insert method, with employee table, and dollar data variable as argument, it will insert data into MySQL table. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see, when page has been loaded then we can see employee table data in boot grid table, and above table we can see one add button, so we have click on this button then one modal has been pop on web page with form. So we have directly click on submit button then, it has pop up all fields are required. So, in name field, here we have enter John Smith, and in address field we have enter address. After this we have select gender male, in designation we have enter engineer, and in age we have enter 20. So this way we have fill all form details. Now we have click on add button. After clicking on add button, we can see the data inserted message pop up on web page, and after clicking OK button, then we can see last inserted data on boot grid table plugin here, that means our code is working. So, here in this part, we have seen how can we perform insert data operation with jQuery boot grid plugin in Code Igniter. Now in next part we will see how to update data operation with jQuery boot grid plugin in Code Igniter. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.